So I was actually planning on setting back up the Gubby Pond today, and uh, I knew it was going to rain today, so I checked the forecast, said it was going to rain probably sometime in the afternoon around 1 or 2 o'clock. So I said, okay, what I'll do, I'll just go out there, set it up sometime, you know, in the morning time, around 11 or 12. Well, I come out here to the fish room around 11.30 this morning, and the fish room has got a door right here, and the window's usually open like this, you can see out there. And it is pouring rain, so I said, what in the frig? And I went outside, and it was actually pretty cool outside, so I said, you know what? I'm just going to film something inside today, and um, I thought this would be a great opportunity to get the marble car catfish out of the little 10 gallon that he's in right now and put him over there to the 55. That was my original plan, and I, I really, I, was, I thought I was going to keep him over here in this 10 gallon a lot longer. We've only had him for about a month now, uh, and I wanted to get, you know, some decent size on him before I threw him over there with the bigger catfish and cichlids, but you know what? Back when I had the little red tail uh, for like a couple of weeks and he was over there with them, they're about the same size. The marble car is about the same size as that red tail was and he did just fine over there with them. So I think today we're going to go and get him out of this 10 gallon over there into the 55. You know, the quicker I can do that, get him out of this little 10 gallon and into a bigger tank, he's ultimately just going to do better and grow a lot faster. So that's what we're going to do today. And here he is right here chilling out in his little rock cave. This guy freaking eats like a pig too you can see him he might come out here in a second anyway so we got to get him out of there and over into the 55 and then what i'm going to do from there is move the carbenzis pair back out of this tank there they are right there and back over here to where they were and uh maybe we'll maybe they'll breed maybe they don't but i'm, I'm thinking if we take them out of this bigger tank and isolate them over here they're probably going to end up spawning All right, catfish, please do not make this difficult. Oh, and he's in the net. Get him into the bag, and there we go. There he is right there, looking good, looking good. Look how fat he is. Like I said, I've been feeding the crap out of this guy, and he is fattened up a lot since I first got him. Sicklers are pretty excited to think they're getting fed, but they are not. We might actually drop a little bit of food in here for them before we actually release him, but, uh, here he is right there. Man, he's gonna show up a lot, a lot better in here than he did over there in that 10 gallon. And he'll probably also, like I said, start to grow a lot faster over here. I definitely keep an eye on him, but I really don't think anybody's gonna mess with him. Uh, being that that red tail did just fine in here and they were like identical in size. So we'll let that guy acclimate for about 15 or 20 minutes, come back and release him. So a few of you may know that I don't only make videos of, you know, fish, fish keeping, fishing and whatnot, but I also take a lot of photos of this kind of stuff. And really, uh, I haven't shown you guys many of the photos that I've taken or really even posted them where I should have been posting them at, which is on my Instagram, which if you're not following me, by the way, follow me at fishing underscore PF. Uh, but I've been doing it for about a year now. I've gotten, you know, decently good at it. I'm not some expert photographer or anything like that, but I've definitely gotten better and I've definitely learned a lot of things about uh, photography and aquatic photography because it is definitely difficult at taking photos of fish especially fish that are small and move a lot like it is very very difficult to get a steady still focus shot on some fish and I was thinking of maybe just maybe if you guys want me to only if you want me to what I could do is take these photos put them on canvases make a website and actually allow you guys to buy them I think it would be a pretty cool idea if you guys want me to. I've got a bunch of these photos that I've taken 
over the past year, edited and made them look, you know, the best that they can possibly look. And the photos that you're seeing right now probably look a little bit distorted, maybe a little blurry. That's because they're in my editor and not actually, you know, just the raw image themselves, which they would be on the canvas. But if you guys want me to, please let me know down below in the comments. And if enough of you guys do want me to, then I will certainly figure out the best way to do it. Alright, I think old buddy over here has been acclimating long enough now, so let's get him out of here. Alright, there he is, there he is, there he goes. Is now into the tank. There he is right there. I forgot to feed these guys, but I don't think they're going to pick on him, so there's one of the electric blue jack Dempsey's tech checking him out. Guys, he looks way better in this tank. You can see him a whole lot better than you could over there. Here, just in case, I'm going to throw some pellets in here. We're going to feed these guys really quickly just to get the attention off of that little guy and uh, onto the food. So, uh, yeah, you can see there's definitely a size difference, but I promise you guys that red tail that I had in here for a couple of weeks was this same exact size, and they never messed with him, uh, and everything was all good. Um, so we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm definitely going to keep my eye on him really, really closely because I would not want this guy to get picked on in here because we got to get this guy really, really big. I'm going to drop the rest of these pellets in, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Look at those guys go. Yeah, they definitely needed to be fed, but you never really know with fish. They are very, very unpredictable. You can think they're going to do something, and they do something totally different, and uh, it completely changes your plan. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But anyways, quick update on this tank. They're all doing good. You can see the frontosa there, frontosa there. All the peacocks are looking and doing great. Of course, the Celadonis, Electric Blue Jack Dempsey is looking great as well. And look how big that guy's getting. Leporinus get, is uh, getting pretty decent size as well. We'll give the guppies and the endlers some flakes really quickly. Close out the video. These guys are looking great as well. I actually noticed uh, a new batch of babies in here just the other day. I don't know where they are right now, but they were itty bitty, like newborn little small babies right down in here. But I do not see them right now. They're probably back there somewhere. There's so much more room in here now that I, so much more room to hide, as I, I should say. Now that I added that driftwood and those plants back there and all this over here, so uh, they could be anywhere in here. But yeah, all these guys are looking and doing great. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this quick little video today. Like I said, please let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like me to do that whole picture on the canvas type thing. Um, I'll probably, I don't know, I might start posting more and more of those pictures on my Instagram to let you guys get a more closer look at them. I will be setting up the guppy pond in the next video. I actually am thinking about getting two more of those same size ponds and having three guppy ponds lined up and then have like three different strains of guppies. So like a strain here, a different one here, and a different one here and see how well it turns out. Because it turned out pretty good last year. We had a bunch of babies. All the guppies looked great and did really, really good. So uh, hopefully we do it just as good this year, if not even better. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, please be sure to give it a like down below. And with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.